going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rock's Garage Crash Course. I'm your host Dan and on today's episode we're going to be taking a look at the Volt 2005 which is our 48 volt voltage reducer. Now with that, the reason why we would install this is to more evenly distribute the power consumption across the entire battery bank on a club car precedent. The voltage reducer that comes in your kit typically is only a 16 volt voltage reducer and that's only going to pull from two batteries. However, if we install our 48 volt voltage reducer, that'll pull from all of the batteries evenly, which allows your batteries to wear more evenly over time. So before we jump into that installation, let's take a look at what comes in that box and the tools we're going to need to perform that installation. So when you open up the box for your Volt 2005, you're going to find the voltage reducer itself with the harness already attached to it. You're going to find your jumper harness as well. And lastly, you are going to have your instructions. Now that we've taken a look at all the parts, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need to perform the installation. First up, we have a socket wrench with a T30, a T25, and a T15 Torx bit. After that, we have a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter wrench as well as a 7 16 and a 1 half inch wrench. And then lastly, we have a stubby Phillips head screwdriver. And now as always, before we start, we just want to take a few safety precautions. First, we're going to set our parking brake, then we're going to turn the cart off. And because we have an electric cart, we're going to flip the tow run switch to the tow position. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and completely disconnect our battery pack from so on our original installation for our lighting kit, we installed the 16 volt voltage reducer that comes standard in the lighting kit. With that, we went ahead and made a custom jumper harness so that we did not have to cut into the harness. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that so that we can make our connection at 48 volts across the whole battery pack. Once that jumper is disconnected from the battery, I can go ahead and disconnect it from my harness. Now that that's disconnected from my jumper, I can go ahead and connect that to the factory harness over here. So like I mentioned before, I'm just going to take the connector from my light kit harness and connect it to the factory harness over here. And this is a 48 volt connection because I am grounded across the entire battery pack. Now my connection for my 48 volts is made. I'm not going to go ahead and connect the cart back to the battery pack just yet as we do have some more wiring to do behind the dash. So now that we've made all of the necessary connections in the battery compartment, we can go ahead and remove our dash so we can get to the wiring for the old voltage reducer. So now that I'm behind the dash, I can go ahead and remove the wiring for my previous voltage reducer. So I can go ahead and unplug that from the bucket harness, as well as the plug and play light kit. So now that the old harness for the voltage reducer is disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and fish that down through the front dash so that when I pull out my old voltage reducer, it'll come out as well. And now while I'm back here, I can go ahead and install the harness for the new voltage reducer. And this harness is going to install just like the old one did. Plug one end into the bucket harness, and the other end goes into the plug and play harness. Then I can take the lead that goes down to the voltage reducer itself and put that through the front dash. Now that that's done, I can go ahead and remove my front bumper to get to my wiring. So now that the old voltage reducer is removed, we can go ahead and install our new voltage reducer in the exact same spot. Now, the Volt 2005 does not come with any nuts to attach it to the body of the cart, but all those are our quarter 20. Now that the old voltage reducer is removed, we can go ahead and install our new one in the exact same spot. Now, the Volt 2005 does not come with any hardware, but all you need are some quarter 20 either nylock nuts or serrated nuts. Once that's attached to the cart, we can go ahead and plug it into the harness and reinstall our front bumper.
Now that our front bumper is installed, we can go ahead and reinstall our dash, making sure that the wires that are behind the dash don't interfere with anything. Once the dash is reinstalled, we can go ahead and reconnect our battery pack and make sure that everything works properly. To verify that everything works, that'll complete the installation for part number Volt-2005. Thanks for watching this episode of Crash Course, and I'll see you guys next time.